Well, Luca, here we are at Royal Ascot again, and uh, quite a carnival by your standards. Yeah, it is a bit quiet this year because uh, our three-year-olds are not really up to scratch, bar one that might run in the in the King George uh, handicap, uh, but that's dependent on a piece of work he'll be doing at the weekend. And the rest are just my all the horses because, as I say, the three-year-olds aren't up to scratch. You've got a two-year-old in the Windsor Castle? That's right. He's, he's a nice, promising horse. He's been working very well. Uh, he'll be short of experience, but I don't think he's short of talent. Of course, uh, Ibachenko in the Gold Cup. He's a laid-back top. Um, yeah, Ibachenko is going to be tough because um, he's already been beaten by Opinion Poll. Opinion Poll is held by uh, Fame and Glory. On top of that, there's Sadler's Rock and Color Vision. Um, so it's going to be a tough, tough assignment for him. But uh, we're going to try him probably in a pair of blinkers, see if we can motivate him a little bit more because he's so laid back and see if it will help the jockey and, 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 and not get the jockey exhausted already after a mile. Is ground going to play a part for him? He doesn't like it soft. So if, if he was to turn out soft, he wouldn't run. Outside of those two, what can we look forward to seeing from your stable? Well, we've got two nice horses running in the Wolferton, which is the listed race, and uh, they're, they're called Dana Dana, who's won his last two, and Cartill, who's just coming into form, is a nice horse. They're probably both running in that. And um, and then we have Fairy Lad, who won on Derby Day at Epsom in the Duke of Edinburgh. Outside of those runners, what, is there any horses we can sort of keep an eye out from your stable moving forward over the rest of the carnival? Um, not for Royal Ascot. Beyond Royal Ascot, I've got a nice horse called uh, Mount Athos, who won quite impressively last time, and is running in the Northumberland Plate next. Uh, that would be the most progressive one I have. It's been a preferred path of yours, that Northumberland Plate, for horses potentially going on towards the Melbourne Carnival, hasn't it? Well, it's a good way, it's a good way a, to establish whether they stay two miles, and B, um, if you run in the first three, you qualify. So it's a good way of doing it. What about the best from your stable for Ascot? I don't know, Diana, probably. Thank you. Pleasure.